Well, I'm taking a little break from the uh, open CW keyer on the NorCal 40 because I've been reading a bunch of stuff online on groups.io, etc. And there's some uh, incriminating evidence, although I don't know what if it's true or not. But let me uh, let me tell you a couple of things. So there is uh, there was a person back in what is it 2020, I think, that said. Is anybody using a keyer with the NorCal 40A? He ordered one, it doesn't seem to work. I hear the side tone, but there is no output from the PA. And he's thinking the opto isolator in the nano keyer uses a current limiting or is a limiting the PA driver resulting in no output. And so that's interesting. And then you go read the long story. And I think that guy's trouble was that the CW open CW keyer has two outputs uh, keyer for uh, transmitter one and two and apparently that guy's was set to transmitter two so after all that reading I don't think that made a difference but what I wanted to do was uh, see if I could remove some of the guilt from the open CW keyer so it's here and you can see this red cable goes back to here which is the hand key input on the, the uh, NorCal Sierra this is the paddle input up on top. I'm not using that one. So if I key this paddle, um, you can see on the scope that we're getting about 34 volts peak to peak. And uh, I incorrectly said 35, so I'm gonna... So you know, if you take your, your iPhone and you flip it sideways, you get a scientific calculator. So I'm gonna do uh, 34 squared well, that was cubed, sorry about that. 34 squared divided by 400 is 2.9 watts. So 34 squared over 400 equals 2.9 watts. So I'm gonna call that three anyway. So we're getting about three watts out of the Sierra with the OpenCW keyer driving it. So let's do that one more time just so we see it. And you can see this is five volts per division, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, about 34. And then we're going to pull out the open CW keyer and put in a hand key. I'm gonna push it down. And you can see that it does the same thing at just right up to 34 volts. So in this case, the, the open CW keyer is driving the Sierra just fine. And uh, what do you say? I guess the last test would be we let the NorCal, or the Sierra drive itself, its own internal keyer with the, the uh, what is that called? The uh, something K1. <laughs> so we'll try that. And you can see it's the same output. The watt meter agrees. So whether we drive the hand key, the internal keyer or the external keyer, it's the same. So I'm just going to write uh, 34 volts peak to peak on all these. And now the issue with the NorCal 40. Um, so I, I looked also on groups.io and someone else said, what is someone else using? And uh, the Easy Keyer 3 was recommended. So that's the Easy Keyer 3 schematic. And you can see it uses an in-channel FET instead of uh, instead of an opto isolator. And this is the BS-170. So I went and dug a little bit more, and the BS-170 is equivalent, apparently close enough for us for this application to the 2N7000, as well as the 2N7002. And I actually have the surface mount version of that one left over from the, the UKIT's experiment, so I might use that. So it's really simple, 100K to ground from the gate, and we'll hook the load or the key jack up to the drain and the source is ground. So it's a, as simple as it could be. And you can see on the Easy Keyer 3, they did even simpler. They didn't even put the resistor to ground. They just ran one of the outputs from the pick chip right to the gate, and the drain is driving the transmitter here. So that's what we have there. Um, I also have a spec sheet that shows that the BS-170 and the 2N7000 
are pretty similar. The 2N7000 is a little bit lighter weight for drain current, like quite a bit. If you need a half amp, you can do like a, a BS170. And then here's that equivalent list where you can see BS170 is equivalent to 7000, 7002, and a bunch of others. And then 7000s are equivalent to another long list of IRF parts. So that's what I have. So it's a clean bill of health for the easy, or pardon me, for the <laughs> open CW gear driving the Sierra. I'm going to go back next and try it on the NorCal 40A. And, you know, one option is to put this FET in this kind of a circuit inside the NorCal 40 so that you're driving the gate of the FET instead of uh, having the driver current run all the way up and down your keyer. So I, I might think of that too. Anyway, that's my quick update. So it's about a five or six minute update to say the keyer is a good keyer. Now we'll get back to the NorCal 40A and see what's up. Um, I also haven't forgotten that I have a lot of questions from you guys like, uh, what does it look like when I put um, the scope on the, the side tone output, etc. So I'll get back to that once I get the NorCal 40 back out again. So thanks for watching. See you guys.